Banner Children's, we've got pediatric care covered for Arizona families. The fact that they're invasive, the fear factor, unpredictable, and the pain factor, they really are ugly. They're just nasty creatures. When people move to Arizona, and we certainly are a state of many people from many places, that they are, you know, they may be used to black widows, maybe they're used to snakes, maybe they're used to spiders, but scorpions are something a little bit different. There's so much about scorpions, I mean, and I'll tell you, in Arizona we have over 50 species of scorpions. And they all sting, and the other 55 scorpions, if they sting you, it will be like a wasp sting, it will hurt locally, etc. But only one has a particular kind of reaction that it causes on the body. The bark scorpion is the one that we have issues with. Many people think of it as, you know, the smaller scorpion or it's a baby scorpion or whatever. Um, and it's also the only one that climbs. So that's one way to identify it. And unfortunately that's the one that is um, probably most accessible to humans because they live above the ground, they don't live under the ground, and then they don't really um, migrate. They really sort of live in an area, and they probably lived in that area for eons. The scorpions hunt, and they, and they just go horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical, looking for lunch. And the minute they go up a side of a building, for instance, and there's a crack, the depth of a credit card, they can go in. And once they're inside a home, they can live for a year without eating or drinking. So even if people have been told that they won't have scorpions if they kill all the crickets or bugs inside, there's like, there's not a sign outside that says, you know, there's nothing to eat in here, okay? So they come in anyway. They're a different thing to, to deal with. And then someone gets stung, and then it hurts so bad so quickly. Last year alone I think we had over 12,000 scorpion stings just called into our center alone. It's a common call. Um, I think a lot of people uh, feel that they're life-threatening. I mean it's probably the most common misconception. It has a um, component of its venom that causes uh, immediate pain, numbness and tingling, tends to move throughout the body. I would have to say in many cases people are scared because in many cases, there's the element of pain and uh, the unknown, if it, especially if it's the first time they've been stung. You know, the pain, numbness, and tingling, it's a neurotoxin, works on the superficial nerves of your skin and muscles. The pain is unexpected. The degree of pain for some of the scorpion stings, not all, but some of them, surprises people, takes them off guard how badly it does hurt initially. And it's, to me, probably really scary for a parent. And as I've worked with parents throughout the last 20 years, uh, that seems to be the thing that they're most worried about, is how do I know that it's a scorpion? Um, what should I do? And that is call the poison center, explain to them what you see in the child. Um, there will usually not be any redness, any swelling. If tactically you find it on a child, or even yourself, if you've been stung, it'll be very sensitive. You will know exactly where it stung you. But on a young child, it's not going to be, you know, like when you have a bee sting, it might turn red, it might have a hole. It might be that way, but most probably not. Usually they know because they cry out. Usually that's one of the things that the parents will tell me right off is that the child is very inconsolable, crying. Maybe they see the scorpion close by them. I've had some parents even tell me, you know, that the child walked through the room carrying the scorpion by its tail. We tell them to use cold compresses to the area. Uh, cold water, it can be very cold. If it's uh, to a finger, say, uh, for instance, uh, they could put, actually put their finger into very cold water, as cold as you would have in the refrigerator, or they can wring out a washcloth and put that on the area. I talk to parents all the time about the fact that they need to teach them what they look like. Then, you know, this is what a scorpion is. This may be some of the places you might, you might see them. Like if, you're, if they're out playing in the backyard, and many people put their swing sets and things like that in the backyard. Well, scorpions climb really well, and they climb everything but clean glass and clean plastic. I really suggest that parents have a black light and they've gotten to be really tiny, cute little things now. And you can get them at and many different places. And I would take the kids out at night 
and look for them. And then it's up to you to decide how you wish to dispose of them, but I would. Keep the house really well sealed if you can. I'll tell people, you know, get the pest man to come out. Uh, make sure that uh, your cracks and crevices are all filled in. Look where you're putting your hands. Look where you're putting somebody. So if you're going to put the baby down somewhere, make sure you've kind of checked the area. Uh, pull back covers and sheets and so forth and make sure that everything is fine from that standpoint. Uh, check the tub. The scorpions like water, so they tend to come up drains. And you should be closing them up at night. You know, so when you're in there to use, just kind of make sure you've kind of poison proof the entire area before you start using the area again. I've never been stung by one, uh, and I've, I've lived here my whole life. I will tell you that for the most part, we keep just about everybody at home. It really is just basic first aid. I know what to do to help you, and uh, this is what we expect right now. You don't need to rush to the emergency room. We have some things that, uh, that can make a difference to help you through this right now. If we have to hook you up with 911, we can, and we can get that child transported if they need to be transported. If I'm able to calm someone down and help keep them at home, I feel like I've done my job. It may be horribly painful and awful experience for you, but you're going to live.